Guys, today I'm going to show you some more fun, interesting R5 units. But first, we got to talk about this because this is being shared a lot on social media. How to play. You guys know how to play, right? How to play made some troll R5 teams because since we can use three teams for uh, any single person now. And brace yourself because this is how to play. Remember, made some troll R5 teams not to farm with, just to flex. So here and again, just prepare yourself for what you're about to see. So here are... Some of the screenshots that people have been sharing around social media. Um, again, this is not to farm with. This is just to flex. They, they were just flexing. And I think the scariest, the scariest part, the saddest part, something, is that this is probably not even all of the LD5s that they own. And also, also, can we just take a second to appreciate this is only light units. We'll get to the next picture in a second, but this is... Not even all the light units that they have, which is absolutely insane considering how many. And these are not dupes, right? These are because you can't use the same unit more than one team. So these are all individual units. I'm sure they have plenty more uh, light net five, uh, which is scary. Which is which is honestly very very scary. And I don't I don't want to know their transaction his. I, I like if you go to like Apple or Google or whatever. <laughs> or Amazon App Store. Uh, what is their transaction history? Like, what does it look like? Is it just like like a phone book? Oh, you guys don't know what phone books are because they've been basically extinct for uh, like a decade now. But, I mean, how many pages? How many, like, I, we, we know it's big, but how many pages uh, is there, is there, like, transaction history is absolutely ridiculous unless they get, like, bulk packs from comp to us. It's just, like, one transaction for $10,000. And then another transaction for $10,000 and another transaction for $10,000. You know how that is, but they buy like bulk LD scrolls. I don't know what the situation is there. Uh, and then if that wasn't enough, you guys probably were curious about the dark ones. So again, a situation where there's no dupes and these are probably not even all. The, uh, these are definitely not all their uh, LD fives. So that's pretty gross. That's at this point, it's just like they have everything <laughs> I mean if you, if you if you think about all the LD packs they bought what about the rest of, like they they ha they must have bought every every I mean if you're gonna buy all the LD packs you may as well just buy every other pack just period uh yeah it's 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 a little ridiculous and this is again this is just a flex this is not to actually farm with these dungeons with but uh yeah I thought you guys would definitely appreciate seeing that. So let's take a look at some actual things that you can actually farm with. So after seeing that team, this looks so much more free to play in comparison. So this is, what I really want to show is the first team. The second team is fairly standard. I mean, we've seen this team for years. Uh, and then the third team is fairly similar to, I mean, it's kind of similar to the second team. Uh, and something that we've also seen before, we got the attack power buff and heals, we got the attack power buff and heals, we have the cleanse, we have the cleanse, we have four damage duos, we have four damage duos, so it's like fairly similar team, uh, and also we've already kind of seen both of these a million times already. For the things that I want to show you guys today, that we want to take a look at today, is the first team. So the first team, I kind of just want to show you guys Carbine and Casey, the Water Pixie. A lot of people don't really think about Casey, don't really know what Casey does. Let's get it started. Uh, let's show a little bit more of what Casey does. Uh, so Casey, if you guys don't know, for many of you, you don't, uh, we'll go over briefly her skills. She is a support unit, but she's a secretly a damage dealing unit, right? So Casey has a first skill glancing hit. Not really anything too crazy, but it's nice here. Actually, glancing hit is pretty nice. Uh, second skill, which she just wanted to show you guys right there. Uh, decelerate is a speed break and a defense break. It's not a huge damage for uh, for this necessarily, but it's still nice to have a speed break, defense break. Debuffs for the boss are uh, pretty nice, just to keep. You know, she's got three debuffs, and debuffs are really key for uh, for R5 raids um, to just try to nerf the uh, the boss as much as possible, right? So then she's got her third skill, which we just saw, Shooting Star, which does fairly similar to what Bailiger does, is multi-hits. However, it's all the same unit. The problem with her is her AI is going to use whatever her AI wants to use. It's not always going to use the uh, skill three or whatever. Actually, this is... Why are we dying? This is a terrible... Uh, did we not get attack power break? I think we didn't get attack power break somewhere. Okay, so let's let's continue to see it. It is a actually a reliable team. 
So I'm just surprised that we took so much damage. Maybe we missed an attack power break or something like this. Usually, it is also faster. So we'll see some more runs, though. We'll see some more runs. Um, so yeah, her AI is not is not fantastic. That's kind of the issue there, uh, is why she never became a thing with the uh, BJ5 or Katarina or anything like that. Uh, well, actually, during the time of Katarina, she wasn't even second awakened, so that's kind of the reason that she wasn't uh, too much of a thing. But um, she does, she does what she wants to do for AI, but when she actually gets shooting star off, it does do pretty decent damage. Again, it's just multi-hits. If the same target gets hit again, it will do increased damage over and over and over again. Uh, so the last hit's going to do so much more than the, uh, the previous hits. But her AI is, again, her AI is AI. So we could maybe consider using something like if we definitely want to try for a super, super fast team. Um, that's that's fast because this is like uh, 50 seconds uh, usually. But if we wanted to try something faster, uh, that's like kind of like uh, BJ5 ish. Um, we could maybe consider using a messity. So it's 53 here. Uh, we could maybe consider using Immensity with her or something that, like, increased attack age. Kind of like what we did with Katarina and Chloe and whatever uh, back in the days. But uh, just because to give her maybe an, an, another chance to use Shooting Star when she has it available. But, uh, yeah, not too bad there. Um, the Wind Sniper, which we'll take... There we go with a, another Shooting Star. So she did, like, 100,000 damage there with that Shooting Star. Because the last hit was, like, 40,000. The one before that was, like, high 20s. So that was already like 70,000 almost. And then she did hits before that as well. So I think she did like almost 100,000 damage uh, over there. So like I said, it, and she's a support unit too. She's not a damage dealer. She's a, we have her on rage runes, of course we do. But she is a uh, she is a technically a support unit. So uh, another thing that I want to mention is the, uh, the Carbine. The Wind Sniper is actually pretty good here. He buffs his own attack power when he gets glanced. Well, I mean, he's stunned now, but when he gets glanced on, he buffs his attack power, increases his attack age, whatever. Um, and he does extra damage. He's single target nuker. We got a 49 second run here. Not that bad. Again, it's not super crazy fast. It's not 30 seconds like BJ5. If you want to run the fastest teams ever, run bj5 and you're gonna raid with guild mates that are also doing bj5 you're not gonna be running any kind of uh you know different interesting custom creative whatever teams you're gonna be running like this is the meta team built exactly how it's supposed to you know build exactly how the tutorials online say there we go with another shooting star uh she did did we not have a brand i think maybe we had a brand before and we didn't have a brand because she did like 30 something thousand with the last hit on that one but uh yeah so that's why she did uh, more damage before and then he did not have an attack power break i mean uh, attack power he did no he, he didn't have a defense break that's why uh, carbine didn't do that much damage there but if as long as they get the optimal situation they do some pretty decent damage so we got stunned again but he still did eh, it's still doing okay it's still doing okay so let's see what the speed is for this one. We got the check and destroy. Fedora's actually not bad here. Uh, Fedora's not great for everything. There we go. Did uh, a decent damage. Um, Fedora's not, not great for everything, but uh, Fedora's not bad for here. He has a leader skill, he has a cleanse, and he also has two debuffs. Um, the, the cleanse is more important than the immunity. The immunity, the boss will just suck up anyway. But the cleanse is nice this way. Uh, this way it cleanses all your units that are stunned and attack power broken or whatever. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that team. And then he also has three debuffs. Attack power break, uh, heal block, and uh, defense break as well. So we'll see one more run uh, just for funsies. And then we'll see, does she get her shooting... <laughs> does she get her shooting star? She's like, no, I don't want to do shooting star. Fantastic. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're, you're, making, it, uh, you're making it difficult for me to show you being good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Casey. She's like, you're welcome. Uh, she's actually really good in the Fire Rift Beast as well. Because even that second skill AoE is pretty nice against all the enemies. So, good name. And then we get all stunned, which is fantastic. We might want to actually change the speed tuning. Uh, turn order stuff and see. see. We, could, we could tweak things more. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to at least show you guys this team. Or show you guys, rather not show necessarily the whole team, just show um, these two units as, hey, these are kind of decent units to stick in there as damage dealers that maybe people didn't really think too much about. 
So anyway, uh, that's it for this one. And then also wanted to show how to play these crazy teams. Anyway, that's it for this one. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, for the eldest team's fairly standard. Uh, anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys are. I'll see you as always in the next one.